Okay, you've got your feet wet now. Let's try something a little bit uh, more useful. So next, we're going to write a SQL statement that will find all employees who have an average performance rating, which is going to require us to use the WHERE clause. So let's come back here, and let's see where we need to get this data from. Where does performance rating live? Well, let's look at the data schema. Here it is. Performance is right here along with employee. So all we're going to do is uh, it, it what does it say to list? Find all employees with an average performance rating. All right, it doesn't say which fields to list, so I'll keep first name and last name. And uh, I'm simply going to say select. So select is always the attributes. From is always the tables. And then we're going to use where right here, which is where we put in some criteria like performance equals, and I use single quotes to say uh, average. And honestly, I can't remember if average is capitalized or not. I don't think it matters. In fact, let's find out. So I can always go here to the data set and I can scroll over. Uh, let's see what's the easiest way to scroll. I guess I can do that. Performance. There we go. Average is capitalized. So let's see if uh, let's see if it works with average not capitalized. Actually, let's click here on the query and let's run it. No results. Okay. Let's put in the capital A. Run query. There we go. So if we want to verify and make sure that these are actually the ones that had an average performance rating, what could we do? We could simply include performance as one of the attributes that we're selecting in the query. So run that, and now we see here that here's a performance rating average. So we learn that when we're using a criteria, this is one type of criteria. We use the WHERE clause. Uh, we say performance equals, and if it's text, if the field is a text field, like performance, then we're, we're going to use single quotes, not double quotes, um, and it is case sensitive. Now, every version of SQL is a little bit different. I've actually used some where double quotes was fine before. And actually this one, that's true. Double quote seems to be fine with data world. However, as you move into larger, more common organizational based uh, database management systems, uh, basic transaction level SQL uh, uh, wants single quotes for text-based criteria. So let's stop this one there. So we've just learned a new keyword where we've learned how to use the equals operator to see if uh, filled equals a certain value. And we know that it's case sensitive.